Well, good morning, Derby Jack here. It's a colder day, and um, let me read this, and we'll go on. Chapter 3 of 2 Timothy, which has been read over and over again, not only by me, but by many people. But now, after what I seen yesterday, it takes precedence. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, heady, um, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For this sort are they which creep into houses, led captivity, silly women, and a laden captivity of silly women, laden with sins, led away by divers' lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. I don't know exactly everything that's going on, but I do know one thing. I have been, yesterday, I went out, and uh, one of the places, I, I went to a local Mapco that I normally go. Well, apparently the night before, Somebody smashed into it and, 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 and broke out all the window. They had a window guy. I guess they stole cigarettes or something. Because, you know, cigarettes are for people who smoke, what, seven, ten dollars a pack an hour? I don't know. <laughs> I left all that stuff a long time ago. Um, also, I went out <clears throat> to a couple places <clears throat> just to see if I could get, like, maybe a couple hours a day like a part-time job to where I could, because I can't stand long periods of time. Um, maybe to see if I could, you know, uh, be a teller at a gas station. One of the places, which is my mechanic, the guy that I would take my vehicle to, uh, local guy. Um, but he had been, he had, he had told me that um, he couldn't do it. And I, I, I said, look, I said, I'll pay, you can pay me under the table. I'm not looking for just a couple, you know, some money here. There. He says, I'd do it. He goes, but he is hired, apparently, had hired a, 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 a mechanic under the table and apparently got found out about it, and they fined him a great deal of money. And so uh, he couldn't do that, and he couldn't pay me because he was fined so much. He had to make up the money. That was okay. Went to another place, which was supposed to be a... Uh, 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 I wanted to work maybe in a, maybe in the back room. I could see I have I could be a manager. I mean I have those skills. I could of a store. I could be I could work in a restaurant, but I'm not going to work in a restaurant no more. I'm I'm done with restaurants. That's that's it. I don't want to be a t after what happened in my old place after I left. Um, no no no. I, that got broken in. I mean they, they not broken into it. It got robbed by gunpoint. And thank God I wasn't there then. Um, nobody got hurt, but it, you know, it could have turned out that way if I was there, you know, so. I've also noticed how people are acting. I mean, it's, I personally believe right now the 5G towers, they're revving up their 5G. I, because I told you many times is that there's at night, I hear buzzings, I hear I mean, I could be on here, and every once in a while, I'll hear a, a hum. And not only just hear it, but it's such a low hum that your ear gets warm hearing it. Think about what I'm just saying. Your ears get warm hearing the hum. Anything that you're feeling like warmth is radiation. Do you, not, you hear what I'm saying? If you're feeling a heat, that's... One of the things about radiation, what is radiation has been known to do? To burn the skin. Radiation knows to burn to like a, like, like, like if you get sunburn so bad it was red, that's what it can do to your body, bubble up your body. It works its way in. So the heat that I'm heat feeling is I believe radiation poisoning, that they are revving up the 5Gs 
uh, towers and everything to where more power and more radiation is going through all the mechanical and all the digital and whatever, all this tech stuff, right? And, and so people are acting weird. I mean, I, I'm also seeing videos. I don't know if y'all have heard the Squirrel Tribe. I watch them from time to time, the woman and her husband. They're telling how they're going out to places. And I see the same thing. Um, uh, right now, what they're doing, you know, you know that the, the country of America now is either partially socialist or communist. If, if you don't see it yet, you will. And, and, and it'll make you look at your flag a little different, the flag that you fly all the time, because that flag right now, the red, white, and blue, doesn't, doesn't register as democracy or freedom. They keep harping about that word democracy, which I always tell you is chained on to um, freedom, which is a, a crock of crap. But I'm seeing people and what I'm hearing and what I'm, what I'm finding out on my, my own is that things are happening and people are not right. I mean, if you're not saved and you don't have the Holy Spirit power, you can't fight against this. I'm, I'm going to say this again. If you don't have the power of the Holy Spirit, you can't fight against the 5G. It's only us people who can fight against it who know what we're fighting. If you don't know what you're fighting and you don't believe in it, you believe that we're just conspiracy theorists telling you stuff, then, then, then you're going, I'm going to tell you what right now, you will die. If you're a Christian who's ignorant to the truth of God's word, you will die. You will die a horrible death. Because these people, what they're doing in these countries here, you all know, I've said it, and you all, if you haven't found out about it, because you if you're watching TV, you ain't going to hear about this. Israel, the military, bombed Jerusalem. People were dead because they said they were, they were, they had insurgents or they had the Hamas over there. So no matter whether their people were there, so basically they couldn't have, their, they weren't going to do their Christmas, of course, but they bombed Jerusalem, the place where Jesus supposedly was born, right? Right? And even, even, so that goes to show you, of course, for you people who are backing Israel, that they don't care about no Jesus. They don't believe in no Jesus. You see, you're a Christian. You're supposed to believe in Jesus. And yet, you side with the enemy. They're the enemy of their own people. You know, I seen a, a video last night that um, kind of freaked me out, but it didn't at the same time. They were asking people, Jewish man's asking Jewish people in Israel, you know, whether they think that people from Palestine are better or worse than they are. And of course, they're coming out saying there would be a few that would say, no, we're all God's children or Shem's children, with, you know, that they call God. And quite a few of the ones who wear their flocks or whatever they call it, you know, the ones who are supposed to be the religious Jews, they're closer to what the Zionists are. They would say <clears throat> stuff, and you see it in their eyes, the hatred, uh, infidels, people, people who have no common sense. Um, they, they are not, uh, Israel, Israel belongs to the Jews, to, 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 and, and, and we, are, we are Shem's people. We are their property, and, and all the rest uh, uh, need to leave or need to die. This is what their sentiment is. They, they don't, and then they're showing what, what they're doing is they're, 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 they're cutting off their electric. They've cut off their electric. There's no food allowed to go in. The people are starving. The people are eating grass. I don't care if they're the enemy. There's a time that you have got to have compassion. And these Jews, I don't care what they say they built up to do. You know, for all of you people who back them, you don't understand that they're, they, they have been treating the Palestinians with disrespect for quite a long time. They've been cutting off the land away from them. And of course, I've said it before, and if you haven't heard about it, yet Nahu, whatever his name is, he showed a map that the West Bank don't even exist anymore. It's all Jerusalem. You know what gets me? This is what gets me. 
if they were God, if they are considered God's people, okay, now, I'm not saying what was in the Old Testament. Something had changed, and they didn't, they didn't change along with it. As far as I'm concerned, and I'm getting this spiritually, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Why didn't God give them a bigger branch? Why didn't God give them bigger land, a larger amount of land? Jerusalem is a little place in between a whole bunch of Arab and 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 and, and Palestinians and 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 Muslim lands. It's 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 encircled, and it's a little strip of of land. If, if they're God's people now, how come it's such a small strip of land? And, and how is it that they, they are so powerful? Now, you might say, well, that's of God. Well, I don't think so anymore. They're so powerful because they side with the wrong side. They're devil. They're Satan's people. I'm not saying all Israel. I'm not saying all Jews are. Because you've got two types of Jews. You got your secular Jews and you got religious Jews. Do you know that there's more secular Jews in Israel than there are religious Jews? And why are we backing Israel? Are we backing them because they're a religious sect? Or are we backing them because they're secular? Or are we backing them because they're secular and they're part of the New World Order? What are we backing? Why are we sending, why is Pervy Joe sending money over to Israel? They don't need our money. They got everything. Why does our Christians, why do you Christians need, find a need to have to back these people? What have they done for you? I've said it many times and you all don't listen to me or listen to anybody. They won't even let you go over there on, on normal times. They wouldn't even let you go over there and preach the word of God on the street corner in Jerusalem. But it just goes to show that what's going on in this world right now, the world's gone. The world's hell. And it's going to get worse. You know, I, I get a kick out of people. Oh, I got one. I seen a little video this morning. I'm praying and I'm, I'm getting ready to read a word. And I'm looking and I'm, apparently in New York City, migrants since they've come over the border, bought Mercedes Benzes. Coming over the border, getting all that free money and gift cards from our government, we're buying Mercedes Benzes. Another thing, do, do you know that um, Oh, God, I forgot what I was going to say. Well, anyway, let me move on. Um, the love, even agape, not agape, even phileo love isn't even being shown anymore. The only, only type of phileo love is what we're supposed to have. Like when they tell you in the church, oh, we got to love our, our brothers and sisters over in Israel, you know, and stuff like that. That's propagated love. That's not real love. That, that's a love that you better love that way and you better, you know, back Israel because we have to love them. That's the type of love it is. It's a propagated, uh, misinterpreted, um, uh, unrecognizable, um, um, uh, unregistered love that isn't love at all. It's, it's a mandate. You know what mandates are, right? You all remember mandates, right? Y'all might think, well, you're very hateful. No, I'm not hateful. I'm very loving. I have the love to be able to have, I have the love in my heart of Gape to tell you the truth and to tell it to you the way you need to hear it. You're so many soft, pansy, blanks, Christians out there who don't have a clue. You read your Bible and you still don't have a clue. You, you pray to God and you still don't have it. You still don't understand it. You're sitting there, you're still sitting there thinking that the world's going round. <laughs> or or that, that the world's going to continue going on. Bumping a road. 
Well, um, and I and the other thing, you Americans, you, 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 you flag wearing patriots, you don't even see that your country's falling apart. You don't even, and if you do, you don't care. Yeah, 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 you know, or you do want to care, but now it's too late to care because everything's gone to hell. A lot of you, and a lot of you still are hating on people like me because we're still telling the truth and you're not capable of handling it. You're still, you're still hoping that when you watch television and you watch CNN and Fox Network, you're still getting the truth. And guess what you are? You're a fool. You're an idiot. And I say this as a Christian, if you continue walking down the wrong roads and you continue believing in the wrong things and you continue denying God and his love and, 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 and what his purpose is, then you're an idiot. I don't care how long you've gone to church, I don't care how long you've been a Christian, if you're still living in the world, and you're still trusting in the world, and you still believe in patriotism, and you still believe in democracy, and you still believe in the flag, and you still believe in voting, and you still believe in all this crap, guess what? You're a fool. Because apparently none of this stuff believes in you. Do you know how bad it's gotten? Go to a Kmart. Go, I mean, go to a Walmart. That's right, Kmart's no longer. Go to a Walmart. Uh, that was another thing about the, 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 the Squirrel Tribe. They said they went into, they went into Walmart. And, or, or not them, but they had a picture of a woman who went to Walmart. And they have this thing now in some places some, where you, you, you get it now and pay later. And, and they have the checkout counters. You know, a lot of those places are taking out the checkout counters because they can't keep up with people and this stuff is just too... I go to those ke- checkout. I bought from those checkout. I hate those dang things. Every time I go, I got it. I always have to... I don't like it talking back to me. I don't... You know, it's a generic voice and it's just it's the sickening thing. I hate, I hate technology when it comes to that type of crap. And you scan your, then if the thing don't work, they have to have somebody come over and you got to wait five, ten minutes for the person to come over so they can skip. What it is, the peep, the, they, they have this new thing and the people skip. The guy had to come and the woman had the receipt to come out. And they're checking. They're pulling out everything out of the person's bag, putting it on the floor of the, uh, fr- fr- from the cart. And the young guy is sitting there checking every one. And they're going down the list, and she says, I've checked everyone. And they said, no, you're, something is missing or something you may have stole. And the woman's like, huh? And so they finally get everything out and check it. And, of course, she, she, she did do what she said she did. It was all there. The guy didn't even, a young kid, probably about 18, 19, didn't even have the courtesy to say, well, I'm sorry. I'm doing my job, but I'm sorry. Didn't say that. Oh, I misunderstood. Didn't even have the courtesy to say, I'm sorry. See, to me, in a normal circumstance like that, that kid would have been fired on the spot if I was a manager. But, you know, they were sitting there saying they were going out shopping and they went to a place where uh, a truck stopped and there, there was only one teller. And, um, and it's a truck stop that they, you know, you've got truckers going in and they have certain, you know, they have to get out in the road and be places at a certain time. <clears throat> the truckers that are left, that is, and, 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 and stuff. So they're trying to get through the line so they can get back in. They got a certain time. They have to be somewhere, right, to make a delivery. And, of course, there's only one teller, and they're like, everybody's complaining. So she leaves to go get her sister. And what they both said was that, well, everybody else is in the back. Nobody wants to come out and work. Th- this is what's happening in America, folks. And um, like I said, for me, I can't even get a, not even get a, a part-time job, not even for a couple hours a day. They, because they need people to work. And I'm not capable of doing the work I used to do. And I'm not about to go back and do that. I'm gonna tell you right now, the way things are, I, 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 I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. And I can't afford it. I, I don't, I mean, I get a measly less than a thousand dollars. Oh, I, I got a little raise on my income tax, another twenty dollars because of inflation. 
it's so, it's so funny, I'm ready to cry. Anyway, so I, 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 I'm going to say this, you know, I, I need help. And um, I am so embarrassed and I am so, I, I, I am so humble. Um, I need help. And um, what I need, and I'm going to be very, I've never d said it like this before, I'm in need. I'm in need of three hundred dollars, and um, and I'm still trying. I want to get something. See, I could if I could get supplemental income that would help me. I wouldn't mind because I'm not looking to be rich, but I, I am in need of about three hundred dollars. And if it's if it's in anybody's, uh, um, if anybody is capable of helping, because I'm trying my best, but I I can't. I I just can't. I can't get anything. The next thing I would have to do is. Is is um, basically um, uh, uh, try to get a loan on my vehicle, and if I get if I if I get that, um, you know I don't even know because it's a 2000 Tahoe, runs good, but you know it has engine problems and stuff, and um, that would only probably get me about less than a thousand dollars on that. So, and without a vehicle that. You know, I, 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 I need the vehicle. No matter what happens, I have to have the vehicle. But, um, I, 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 I don't know what more to do. So, I, I've been trying, I've been praying, and um, now I'm, I'm really asking. If, if there is, you all see my pen pal, my, my PayPal and, and my GoFundMe, and if you can't use that, then I mean, you, you can you can email me, and I can I can give you my address, and you can send me a check. I mean, and if you can't, then hey, I I'm not angry, I'm not <clears throat> I'm not I'm still bless people. I still love people because I know everybody's going through the same type of stuff that I may be going through. A lot of people are. A lot of people right now are families who are gone. You know, <clears throat> it's just that. I wouldn't be so bad if if, if 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 I was able if I was able to keep on my feet long periods of time. I mean, it, I can't. That was another reason why I left Subway and the other, because I was always on my feet, always always there. Couldn't get a day off. Had to work long hours, and it was just too much. And it was my body. My, it just wore my body down. My back, my lower back, is screwed up, real bad. Plus my stomach problems and. And, and, and things and, and my eyes right now are so bad. I mean, if I take these glasses off, this is this side is a blur. I have no, I can't tell anything. This one has got a blind spot in it. So these barely keep everything, you know, from long distance though I can't, it's all blurry. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I deal with, and um, and I just want to I just want to speak God's word. I, I just want to preach and teach. I, I I would love. Hey, look, it would be great if I could make money off the music. But I understand another thing. The reason my music ain't making it, because my music speaks volumes of truth. And music, they don't want truth. If you remember the 60s and 70s, the, the 60s and 70s was, you know, they, they, the music out there was government propagated. The Beatles were part of, part, part of the PSYOP. And that was what it was. They were talking love songs during wartime in Vietnam and, 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 and peace songs during war and, and hurting everybody a different way of thinking. Then there was love songs during time that there was no real love. I mean, so they want the opposite. They want everything to be sweet music, you know, candy crush music. We, 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 we want to have fun. You know, we don't want songs that make us think. We don't want music to make us feel bad about maybe the way we're acting. We don't No, We want music that makes us feel proud of ourselves. That's right. We, we, we want the Katy Perry out there. We, we want the Taylor Swift, you know, the heiress, you know, the, the, she, you know, a courageous woman, you know. 
Yeah, that, that's what they want. They want little kids to grow up and be, and, and be delusional. To, to think one thing, but yet be another. And, 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 and like I said, this, this oh, we got to have love for Israel. We got to have love for them. We gotta, you know, but yet at the same time, you know, the, I've seen pictures, not on television, but that little Palestinian kids. See, when I see children, I don't see Israel or Palestine. I don't see, I don't see Jews, nor do I see Arabs or, 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 or Muslim. I see children. I don't know what you see. I see children. And, and I see them in the eyes of the Holy Spirit, which is the eyes of God. I see children who are suffering, who are hungry. Is that normal? I don't care where they come from. And yes, it is true. If they're treated a certain way, they will grow up a certain way. If they're told by their own people to act a certain way and think a certain way, that's what they're going to do. But still, as children, they're children. What you do to a child is going to resonate what God's going to do to you. So I don't care whether they're Israel. I don't care whether they're Palestine. I don't care. Whoever, if the Hamas is putting children in, in families and stuff uh, in harm's way, and, and Israel is bombing people in harm's way, I don't care whether or not. It has to do with, 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 with the other side, but like they're bombing, they're even bombing their own people. So you tell me, you tell me if all this war is right. You know, I'm telling you right now, and you people on YouTube, I know you don't like me and you want to cut me down. You take off all my comments. You don't want people to see the comments that put underneath me. <laughs> you got me so far down, I can't move whatsoever. And I still fight your asses. Excuse my language, but I had to say, it. I still fight you. I, 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 still, I still come back and complain. See, a lot of people don't know. I complain to these people. I go back and I say, where's my comments? Where, where are you putting them, you, you little douchebags? I tell them off. Why are you doing this to me? You, 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 know, you know, you don't agree with me, then go somewhere else, you know? I mean, it, it's, it's bad, it's bad, you know? I feel like I feel like we're in Germany. I really do. Do you do you know another thing? You can learn a lot by the feeds of YouTube. You can learn a lot about what the world is right now. Do you know what's been popping up on my feeds right now? Um, they've been popping up lately. I don't know why, or where, but isn't it funny? that they're popping up, I don't know if you've seen them, uh, these old pictures of, um, uh, uh, of German uh, um, uh, uh, camps that, that were, you know, uh, that at the end of the war, the German war, that they were hanging Germans, right? They were hanging the, the, the Gestapos and stuff of, of camps and stuff, the female Gestapos, you know, who were beating people and, and all this other stuff and, and hanging them. And it seemed like, and then, and then firing squad. So they're showing all this brutality that happened in Germany. And I'm kind of figuring out, I'm trying to figure out why are they doing that? What is the purpose of showing us old war uh, 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 hangings and, and shootings and stuff? You know, uh, and, and, and I'm starting to wonder because in doing that, that means that there must be a psyop going. Who, who is going to be the ones who are going to be like the Germans, meaning that who are the, going to be the ones who are going to be hung? They're, they're letting you know something, and you got to keep up spiritually than what they're trying to tell us. So every time you see different things start popping up in your feeds out of nowhere, um, then, then you got to know they're pushing something. It's like I said, if you just made, if your kids just made a... Uh, 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 a YouTube channel and never modified it, you wouldn't believe the type of crap that comes up on YouTube. Uh, you know, I don't know what, of course, they, they want us to side with Israel, right? Or not Israel, but with, with, with Russia, right? Or not uh, uh, Pal uh, Ukraine, excuse me. 
I know years ago, before the war, you'd find on YouTube pictures of ballerinas. You know, I don't know, I guess Russia up there, they like, they like the arts when it comes to ballerinas and stuff, a lot of dancers and stuff, they, that's what they're into. And so they were showing, but now it's not Russian Palestinian, uh, not, not Russian um, um, ballerina shows for little girls. Now are dancing, now it's Ukrainian. There was a time that they used to say, oh, single women from Russia, what? You, now it's single women from Ukraine. Do, do you see where I'm, I'm telling you? So everything switches around. They, they go from one thing to another, one place to the other, because now they're the enemy. We don't want the Russian women. We want the Ukrainian women. I mean, this is how they're hurting you people. And most of y'all, you don't see this. You know, oh, Derby, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me ask you something. When it comes to when it comes to the war over there, who are you siding with? You're probably siding with Israel. It, 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 if it's if it's up the war up there, and you, you're probably siding with Ukraine. And 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 now <clears throat> now there are people people are waking up, not enough, and they're partially awake. They, because they, they, a lot of people who are waking up is finding it very, very hard to wrap their heads around. You know, they, they just, they just, they just can't get it. And it's hard for them, you know. And, and, and now, you know, our government, our government are a bunch of basket cases. You know, uh, I don't know what, why is Joe Biden still there? I mean, they need to bring out the other clone. He, he at least doesn't walk away. I don't know. It's like, I don't know what's going on. I mean, our government is a bunch of basket cases. The Republicans are idiots. The Democrats are just, they're just power hungry idiots. I don't know what their problems are. And then the voters, you know, whether you're Republican or Democrat, the Democrats don't even know where they stand. I don't know if you're an older Democrat. You, you probably don't even recognize your, your party. <laughs> And, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, you know. So, look, it's, it's time. It's time to wake up, people. And, and, and it's time for us to stick together and stand together. Faithful Christians must stand together. We must be at one mind. We can't be sporadic. We can't be uh, frustrated uh, uh, and, and unknowing. It is time to wake up. It is time to give your heart fully to God because that's all you got. Faith is all you got because this world is taking everything away from us. This world is taking everything away from us. It's taking our hearts. It's trying to take our hearts. It's trying to take our souls. You know, the mark of the beast, if not here, is still in the eye. I'm going to tell you right now, for you people who don't realize it, the secular man out there the mark of the beast they've already taken. It's the ideology. It's the ideals. The mark of the beast is what you allow in. I believe that's what it is. I don't know whether it's an actual mark on the hand or not, or on the, but I do believe that if God is written in the forehead of, uh, 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 of, the, of, of, the, of Bible-believing and spirit-filled Christians, then that also means that those who are not the mark of the beast is in their minds because they love the world. They love the world. When the word says, come out of her, Israel, and, and come out of her, my people, come out of her. You got to crawl out. You got to get out. If you're in a toilet bowl, get out of the toilet bowl, right? So we're in a toilet bowl. We got to get out of the toilet bowl. That's what the world is, a toilet bowl, okay? Get out of the world. Get out. Don't fall for it. Don't go with it. Don't believe it. The world is a liar. There is no truth in the world. The world is a deceiver. The world, the world is a collaborator with itself. The world collaborates against you. The world collaborates, the world destroys itself. Like I said, the Jewish people are so proud of bombing their own people. And yet, we back Israel. We back that stupid flag with that stupid star that is of Satan. Why do you think, you know, they show that star and that flag 
a whole lot. Everywhere you, you, you look and it has any, any tele, it's always that damn flag, that damn flag with the star. They're worshiping it. It's idol worship. So anyway, like I said, I, I'm, I'm asking people, whoever can, if you can help me, I would appreciate, if you can give 5, 10, 15, you know, I, I don't care. And, and all I'm saying is, is that if it's possible, I, I need some help. I, I'm trying my best and I, I just can't, I can't do it. And um, I, I've been praying to God all night to even ask what I'm asking. Because I've never asked like this before. I've never given you an exact amount that I need. And that's the most humbling You know, I'm not a prideful man, and I have always been. It's hard, because I, I am trying not to be, because all my life I've had to be. I've had to be self-sufficient. All my life I've had to be self-prideful, you know, in, in the work that I did, because I, you know, you get to a point where nobody else is doing it and you have to, so you take pride in what you're doing. You, you, you're the, I was the, look, when it came to Subway, I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I was one of the, I'm one of the best sub makers and fastest son of a guns that you've ever met. I, 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 I don't, I can't do that no more. It wore me down. It took a lot out of me. So, in saying all that, you know, I, Whatever you can do. And if you can't, then just continue praying for me as I continue praying for all of you. And I love you all. I, I, the ones who have given, I love you. They're, and if you can't give any more, I love you. I have no ill feelings towards anybody who has prayed for me and who has, who has, who has given me love offerings. You know, and, and if they still can't do it, hey man, I, I am not. I still believe in God, but I, I have gotten to the point where my spirit is basically, I have to humble myself more. I have to believe that, you know, that God needs to bless people. If, if you're being blessed giving and you're being blessed being, being, being given to, it's always a blessing to be given to. I want that blessing to be given back to those who give. I always pray for that. That whatever was given to me, I pray. I pray earnestly. Not like they tell you on the TV evangelist and all those, you know, that I'm not asking for millions upon millions of dollars. That's never my heart. And if I were to get more money than, than I need, it, it's either going to be used properly or whatever is left over that I don't need will be given away. That's how I am. I've always been that way. When I worked, if I had a couple bucks in my wallet uh, and, and I'm not using it, and I know that well, I knew that money was coming in again, I, I, I see uh, homeless people. I was always giving money to homeless people because that's where my heart was. My heart is for those people. I see people who, who are not only hungry, but are hurting. Their hearts are hurting. They're lost. They, they're, they're, they, a lot of them are one step away from suicide. They, they, and if it wasn't for the drugs, they probably would commit suicide. That's how bad it is. Imagine having, and because of the way this country and because of the way our government is and these idiots <clears throat> and the New World Order and all this other stuff, Imagine what it is for people to have, and all of a sudden they don't. You know, they, they keep building up that damn movie, you know, that you know what I'm talking about, the not left behind, whatever, leave the world behind, whatever. You know, they're telling you what they're going to do, and it's going to happen. They're giving you in the physical realm, 
They're giving you what Revelation talks about. They're reenacting. They're actually taking notes from Revelation, believe it or not, to do what they're doing. It's destabilizing your resolve, destabilizing your hope, destabilizing your, your willfulness. They don't want you to live. They want you to survive. And they want to be in control of your survival. And if you're not aware of this, I'm going to say it again. You're an idiot. You have to be. You have to be ignorant purposely or you're just ignorant because you don't want to see. You need to see. You know, I mean, if you take notes of what that movie is about and you've seen any of the previews, Julia Roberts has been actress, right? So she's in here and she's playing the rich woman. Her husband, the guy they got, I don't know what his name is, He's a good sad sap, isn't he? All through the movie, he's got that sad sap. His eyebrows go up. He's got the frown. He's always afraid. I don't know. I couldn't even handle being around that guy. He just looks like he's just so sad, like a poor little puppy all the time. How the hell did he get Julia Roberts? I mean, and of course, because of Obama movie, they had to have the rich black man, right? And, 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 and you know, so you tell me who's racist. I'm only pointing out what the movie's showing you. Who was behind the movie? Who gave notes to it? Barack Obama or Barry Obama, you know, the, the gay guy who's married to another guy, uh, Michael, right? For all you people who don't believe that, that's a, who believe still that's a woman. She looks stronger than you do. She looks stronger. She could probably take me. Anyway. So anyway, I'm going to read this again and remember where you are. Remember the time period you're in right now and remember, remember, be aware. This also, that in the last days perilous times shall come for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents and uh, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For this sort are they which creep into houses, led uh, and, and, and led captivity, captive silly women laden with sin, led away with divers lust. You know who this is talking about? Who's the biggest witch on stage right now? Taylor Swift. The heiress tour. What's happening to the young girls? They're turning into little sluts. Look alike. They're, they're, they're wearing the slutty clothes that Taylor Swift has. We're doing all that. Uh, 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 and so she's leading them away with her witchery, her, 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 her casting of spells, leading them away. That's what's happening today. This is what's happening. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's up to you. But anyway, so I, add, I, I ask my request, and um, I, I pray that God moves in somebody to help. Um, I just don't know what more to ask or say, so... I claim obedience in the spirit, that somebody listens to their spirit. And like I said, if your spirit isn't telling you, I don't want you to give if it's not moved in by the spirit to give. I don't want that money. I want the money from those who are, who are being moved to give. Remember, works is not what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for obedience. I want what God tells you to give. In, in, in spirit, if you can. And I'm not asking for anybody to give what they can't afford. That's not my heart. You'll never hear that from the 
you know, prosperity movement, move, they'll sit there and say, even if you don't have anything, give anyway. That, that I don't believe in. I don't think God does either. Because it's not the physical given, you could do other things too, you know. And that also goes for prayer, you know. But I, I just want to, I believe there's a correction there, you know. And, um, you know, you, 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 you don't tell somebody, you know, that, you know, if you don't give, you're not going to be blessed. That, that I don't believe. That just, that hurts. Because unless you're doing it out of selfishness and you're not listening, that's, a, you know, but what I'm saying is, no, if you're walking in the spirit and God is not moving you to do something, don't do it. But I would appreciate prayer for those who can't. So, I humbly ask, you know my request, and I leave it at that. Pray for those in Maui. I've seen some videos um, from the uh, Hawaiian real estate guy. Um, they don't want people putting pictures out of those melted cars. There's a lot of melting going on there, a lot of stuff that should never have happened in a regular fire. And they don't like it being out. They hate that these people are making pictures. I mean, they're fighting them, they're arresting them and stuff. They don't want pictures out. They don't want you to know what they did to Maui, to Luana. They don't want you to know, you know. And so um, pray for those people over there. They're taking their land. They're trying to move them out. You know, you know that 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 their their board, you know, their government board, out of out of I think it was eight or nine people, only two or three voted against dropping all that all that ash into the coral reefs off the off 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 of the area. They want to drop it into the ocean. Do you know? That if they dropped it into the ocean, do you know what it would do to the coral reefs? It would suffocate them. The sulfur would suffocate. That stuff would go down into the ocean. They think, well, it'll go out. So even if it goes out, what about the local fish? And most of them voted to dump it into the ocean. You tell me that government cares? So anyway, pray for those people. Continue praying for the people in Israel and in Palestine. Okay, all right, and in the West Bank, because apparently uh, the governments, the governments are, 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 are don't care who they're killing right now. Don't care who they're bombing. They'll bomb their own places just to get rid of Hamas, right? And Hamas will keep doing what they're doing and then trapping their own people so they get so they don't get hit, right? It's going to continue. The stupidity will continue, and you'll still back them. Why? So anyway, Heavenly Father, I thank you right now. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your love, Father. I thank you for Jesus coming into this world. I thank you for him dying and shedding his blood for my salvation. I thank you right now, God, for, the, for you taking us, Father, for you coming and doing what you're supposed to do, Heavenly Father. I thank you for your time, to be swift, Father. I thank you for, for, for all the things that you have given me, Father, and all the love and patience you've had for me throughout the years, Father. I thank you, Father, for your compassion, for your wisdom, for your, for your always being on time, I claim obedience in the spirit of all spirit-filled Christians to do and to listen and to do what the spirit of God tells you to do, the spirit of Christ that dwells in you. That I pray, Father, that these people who are spirit-filled understand the power, the power, not just acting, but the power of the Holy Spirit, Father, moving and growing and giving empowerment to those 
to do your will in season and out of season. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. I love you all. Derby Jack out. And I hope to see you all on the other side.